Hi, my name is Jason Morgan. Welcome into my studio and also on my YouTube channel. And I wanted to show you some of the differences between acrylic and oil paints. Now, the finished painting on the bottom, the left hand side I've done in acrylics, and the right hand side I've just done in alkyd oil paints. So you can already see quite a difference between the punchiness of the two of them. Now, over on my new Patreon channel, I've got a one hour version of this that's slowed right down and it's packed with a lot more tips and techniques. So let's start off by taking a look at the acrylic section and seeing how I build those layers and details. I've put a black acrylic layer down as an underlayer and then I've transferred my drawing. And now I've just put a little bit of the background in and I'm starting to build my layers. So you can see initially how it's difficult to actually see the very dark blacks. Now the problem I'm finding with acrylics is unless you've got the light in actually spot on, so no reflective glare, the acrylics dry very, very fast. And the dark areas in particular seem to sink in, so they lose their punchiness and contrast. So it's very, very difficult to see your blacks. Now, the other colors also change color or change contrast a lot when they fade or when they actually dry. So as acrylics are drying within minutes, it's very, very different than oil. You can see here I'm re-establishing some blacks and that's pure black paint going in, but look how quickly it's drying. And that's, even though this is speeded up a lot, it's drying very, very fast within just a few minutes. So I'm constantly having to adjust my next layer and that's also affecting the colors I'm putting down. They look great on the palette on the side. That's a glass palette I'm using but because it's drying the colors are actually changing slightly as well or they're giving the appearance of changing. Now most of this can be brought back at the end once it's completely dry by putting a layer of varnish on but that doesn't help me with the painting stage and that's probably the main reason that I much prefer using oils or in my case alkyd oils because the colors are they look the same on the palette as they do on the canvas and they're not going to dry until at least the next morning so you're not going to get this difference and, and sinking into the canvas. So for lots of you out there that are struggling with acrylics and you think that perhaps you're mixing wrong or you're just not mixing your colours right and at the end of a session perhaps in the evening you step back from the canvas and you see that it's not really what you thought you'd painted, this may be an issue for you to, to consider that it could be the acrylics that are actually the problem. Now I haven't tried many brands but the ones I have tried have all shown this to uh, some degree and that's my main reason for switching over to the alkyd oils. So now I've brought the acrylic section just to uh, completion. I think it's time to switch over to the other side of the canvas and have a look at the alkyd oils I'm using the Windsor & Newton brand. So immediately you'd notice that I've actually put my canvas upright now on an easel and this is my preferred way of working with oils. I like to put the palette by the side of me. It makes judging colors as I'm doing here much easier the closer you can get the palette to the actual reference photo and your painting. So I'm just blocking in and you can already see that the colors look much more realistic and much more accurate and they're not changing as they dry in. Now the acrylic on the left looks a little bit better because I've managed to get the light in just perfect on it to give the most minimal amount of glare. But if I put my head slightly to the side one way or another, that glare is, is there again. And that's not showing on the oil side. Another advantage with the oils is that I can put the palette up like this. The oils are not running down. And with the acrylics, because it's water we thin with, there's a greater tendency for the colors to actually um, be so thin that they start running down the palette. So it can be done, but it's a lot more difficult. And also another great benefit with the oils is that the colors I'm mixing on the side, you see I'm not just mixing into one pile. I'm bringing them out and making different colors all the time. And all of those are staying wet through the whole painting session. So I've got the option of dipping back into those colors, refreshing areas and overpainting areas. And more often than not, you find halfway through a painting session, virtually all the colors you want are already on the palette from pre-mixes. Now with acrylic paint, the issue you get is that those mixes are drying within a minute or two, and so you can't actually reuse them. Now I know you can use things like Stay Wet palettes, and they help it along, so it does open it up a little bit longer, but they're not, in my opinion, as good a solution as using oil paints or alkyd oils. 
So I'm just blocking in a bit of background and that's helping me to assess now what I need to do with the dog's fur to bring more realism and more accurate colours to it. So as I mentioned I got a slowed down version over an hour long of this video with lots more tips and techniques on my Patreon channel. I hope this has um, given you a bit of an insight into oils if you've never used oils and you know made them a little bit less frightening. They don't really smell much at all, they're not messy and in my opinion they're far far easier to use than acrylic paints so perhaps you'd like to try those. See you all again real soon. Hope you've enjoyed that video and if so I've got lots more on my YouTube channel and don't forget the only way not to miss out on any new videos is to click the subscribe button. On my website I've got full length feature videos, I've got reference photo CDs and ebooks and also the new Easy Trace Line Art tool. So hope to see you either on my YouTube or my website jasonmorgan.co.uk. See you all again real soon.